So how can we minimize our payload size when using the use fetch composable within Nuxt? Let's go ahead and take a look at an example. Now when you're using a third party API like we are in this example, you're not going to have control over which data gets returned when you make your request. Now here in this example you can see we made a request and we have our return payload where we're getting back products, the total, the skip, and then the limit. Now if we take a look at our products, you can see that for each product we actually have 22 different properties being returned for each one of these items. And that's definitely a lot of data. So let's say for example that maybe for the feature that you're working on you only need the ID property, the title, and the description. You don't need the remaining 19 other props that are being returned within this request. Now to minimize our payload when we're using the use fetch composable, we can use a property available to us within the options called transform. Now this transform property accepts a callback function, and then as a param what we can do is pass in our data that we're extracting right here. So to set this up what we want to do is you want to return, and then we'll return an object. Now just to show you how this works, what we'll do is let's just say for example that we only want to return the limit property. So we can create a property called limit, and then we can specify our data, and then on here we have a property called limit. Now as you'll see here really quick, we do have a TypeScript error, and that is because the data is the type of unknown. Now to fix this for the sake of this example, what we can do is in our use fetch composable, we can just pass a type of any, and that'll go ahead and fix our issue. But in a production application, you'd probably want to go ahead and type this out properly. And now that we had that set up, if we take a look here at our data, you can see the only thing that is being returned is going to be the limit. Now to modify the data for each product that gets returned inside of our products array, what we want to do is we want to create a new products property here inside of this object, and then what we want to do is set this equal to our data.products, and then we want to use the map method. And within this map method, what we want to do is you want to reference our product as a param, and we'll set the type to any, and then what we want to do is just return a new object with all the properties that we want to be returned, and that is going to be the ID, the title, and then the description. And now here inside of our dev tools, if we take a look at our payload, you can see that for each product, we're now only going to get the ID, the title, and the description. So next time you're using a third party API within the use fetch composable and you want to minimize your payload, be sure to give the transform property a try. Now just so you're aware, when we do use the transform property to configure our payload, this doesn't prevent the unwanted data from being fetched initially. What this does is prevent the unwanted data from being added to the payload that gets transferred from the server to the client. Now if you found this video helpful and you want to learn more about Nux for myself, I am working on a full Nux course called Learn Nux, and you can find a link to that down below in the description.